Hey gang, Greg and Janet from Strange RV Tours here, and today we have a beer review. We're going to be reviewing a Oak Highlands Brewery Derelict West Coast IPA. Now, we don't know anything about this company other than they are located in Dallas, Texas. We just saw the can, liked it, thought let's give it a try. We looked on the internet, can't find any reviews on the beer itself, so this is kind of a, a kind of a mystery beer to us. Uh, Janet's going to read what it says on yeah. the can. Yeah, I'll read it. Derelict West Coast IPA. Despite its name, the Indian Pale Ale IPA hails from England and was originally brewed with extra hops and higher alcohol to survive the long voyage to India. To India, yeah. Derelict is an West Coast IPA brewed with five separate hop additions, while derelict boasts big citrus hop aroma and flavor. It finishes without any overly bitter taste. Beer above all. It has the emblem of Texas there. That's pretty cool. And I did notice the brewery, Oak Highlands Brewery, is a member of the Independent Craft Brewers Association. So that's about all we know about this beer. And we're gonna give it a try. It is 6.1% uh, alcohol, so it is higher than a normal beer in alcohol content. And the IBUs are 56. So it definitely has hops, but not, right. not an overwhelming amount of hops. Right. So. So it should be good when they kind of balance like that pretty close they tend to be more flavorful uh, yeah more flavor yeah so if it's like five and five or you know whatever we'll do a Mosier pour here that's a golden color that foam is like a golden like beige hmm. You want to do the first aroma? Yeah, yeah. That's why I, these glasses work better for that, huh? Mm -hmm. it smells real creamy. I mean, it smells creamy. And like an orange. Here, you smell. Okay. You're, you're better at the, describing it. I'm getting orange from it too. It's uh, a little bit of an earthy tone to it, mm -hmm. but I, I get a strong citrus orange aroma. Mm -hmm. Malty. It smells good. It does smell creamy. Yeah, it smells so, creamy, like malty right. creamy. We're going to let the head relax a little bit before we get started. We'll be back in just a moment. One of the ways that I tend to judge a beer by is by how long the head lasts on the beer. And this one's holding up yeah. strong. Mm -hmm. So you want to do the first taste? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's real fine bubbles at the top and the middle, like a medium size, you know? Got a good flavor. It's kind of like a mm, an amber. A, yeah, that's an amber. That's a, a little bit on the darker side of, of amber. Yeah. Um, all right, here goes. So in West Coast is usually a lighter color, isn't it? Well, yeah, or they tend to be hazy. Yeah. I like it. I like it. You I am like getting, it? I am getting an orange citrusy flavor, but not nearly as strong as I got with the aroma. Mm-hmm. Right. 
Uh, they're on the back end, very little bitterness. Really? Um, they yeah, didn't um, they didn't over hop this one, which is nice. Right. Um, you know, I love IPAs. I, mm -hmm. I love them when they're they're hopped to the top or whether they're down lower. This one is uh, more of a lower content of hops. Well, it's balanced. You know, pretty good. I'm trying to think what else flavor I'm getting. Malty. Creamy, malty. It's creamy. Yeah, this is, to me, this, this would be a good daily drinking beer because it doesn't have the extreme bitterness that some IPAs have. Yeah. This one would be an easy one to go. You got a six pack of this, didn't you? Yeah. How yeah. much was it? Uh, I believe it was twelve ninety nine six pack. Whoa. Got it actually from a gas station, if you can believe that. So. They had a neat selection, though. They did. It's right by the bowling alley in uh, Tyler. Tyler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they have cheap gas, too. <laughs> but yeah, try that again. Tell, me, tell us what you think about it. Like clove or something that you're getting? Do you get some of something like that? I'm, I'm just I'm getting a, the orange flavor, and I'm not getting the the so much piney flavor that I was getting in the aroma. It's like a clove. That's it. It's a clove and orangey. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Like a clove. It's a good beer. It's I good. like it. I, I like it. I'm shocked. I'm shocked because I. It's obviously been released over a year ago and nobody's done a review yeah yeah so maybe they don't distribute too much i don't know maybe they're out of dallas yes wow yes they are dallas texas you're gonna have to look them up to see if they actually have a tasting room after i took the first sip of it or gulp of it it made me want to taste more it left me with my mouth watering yeah, one that one. second drink. So it's good. this is a very good beer. Yeah. Very good beer. I've tasted some IPAs that I took one sip of and didn't want any more. Like yeah, thumbs up. Okay, rate it. All right. One to a hundred or zero to a hundred. I would give this beer I'd give it an eighty six. Yeah, I was thinking in the eighties. I was thinking like eighty two or so. I mean, it's not fabulous, like, you know, I, like, we gotta go get some more before they sell out, you mm -hmm. know, but, yeah. uh, it's good, it's it good, is. it's, like, it's not too heavy, and it's not, doesn't have that hoppy back bitter stuff too bad, and it, it leaves you salivating. Yes, it, it does. does. It does, it which does. Which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Speaking and it's, to me, I mean, shoot, I'm ready to have another beer. There you go. I mean, it's it's really it has it has a lot of flavor in this little can, and even though it doesn't feel like a real heavy beer, it's filling me up already. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I, right. good beer. I bet it'd be better in a bottle too. Huh? I'm surprised it kept its foam, and it's got a nice lace on the glass too. Mm -hmm. See, so that's it's held up, I guess. I would, yeah. I mean. Still was had a good head on it. Mm -hmm. At least, you know, the flavor's nice. Yeah. Overall, good job. Good job. So, anyhow, we hope you enjoyed this beer tasting. If you did, hit all those buttons at the bottom and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you again soon. Take it easy. Strange RV tours will take you places. With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friend As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air Javi Tours is on.